I remembered something. That's not possible, is it? Okay, is it like a picture in your head and then you think I've seen this before? I just used the word before, which means I I'm remembering something. What was I talking about? My three favorite Pixar movies of all time are Up, Toy Story 3, and maybe my favorite of all time, Finding Nemo. And now, more than a dozen years after the release of the original, we get Finding Dory. Big gap between releases of the films, but only a year in the actual timeline. So the events of Finding Dory take place just about 12 months after all the cool adventures of Nemo and Marlin. This time around, Ellen DeGeneres' blue tang named Dory, and you'll remember she's got that short-term memory problem. She's front and center, and Marlin and Nemo are the supporting characters in the film. Dory wants to find her parents. She was separated from them when she was just a tiny, tiny, very, very cute little fishy. My family! They're out there somewhere. I have to find them. One of the things I like about this movie is the, the very powerful and valuable message. You know, Dory does have short-term memory loss. She's someone who kind of gets picked on by other fish and feels lost all the time. And the movie keeps reminding us that just because someone is a special needs person or a special needs fishy, doesn't mean that they're not special and they don't have unique abilities. I don't know how they do it, but somehow there's a moment in this movie where cartoon fishies are hugging and I had a lump in my throat. I almost started crying. How do you do it, Pixar? Curse you, Pixar! A lovely film, not quite as great as the original. That would have been a really, really tall order to fill, but one of the better animated sequels we've seen in many, many a year. A solid three stars, a solid B grade. Take the kids to see it. You'll enjoy it just as much as they will.